What's up, moviegoers? Transit Reviews, your host, Mark. Uh, first episode, so I figure uh, I'll tell you how it works. I'll start off with uh, two movies that uh, I guess some people liked, but uh, I personally didn't. Uh, then I'll go into two comedy gems that I think uh, you guys will really like or have liked, but uh, you know, lost track of or still watch it. We'll see what happens. And uh, finally, the fifth movie will be a movie that I recommend seeing. If you haven't seen it, then uh, look into it. And uh, yeah, so uh, to start off, Sasquatch Hunters. Let's be honest. People see the movie title, run away. Uh, first impressions usually are the best, and believe me, run away. It's a shitty movie. You sh you wouldn't like it at all, probably. But uh, I'm not you, I'm me. And personally, when I was looking at it, I was thinking, why did I buy that? It was only seven bucks, but uh, not worth it. It's a 2004 movie. It's got nobody as real actors in it. And uh, the CGI is really, really bad. The title says it, people go into the woods, they go hunting for Sasquatch. It doesn't go deeper than that. I give it a 1.5 out of 10. Second movie. Killer Clowns. From outer space, of course, because that's where Killer Clowns are from. Uh, it's a cult classic. People really loved it. It's from 1988. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the actors in it. Uh, really, it kind of had me in a position where I thought I should like it because it was a very popular movie, but really in the end, I personally did not like it. Uh, it had everything I guess kids would want, you know, cotton candies, toys, murder. Uh, but really, personally, I just couldn't get into it. Um, I, other people have, you know, maybe you will too, but uh, I give it a probably 4.5 out of 10. It's not something you shouldn't watch, but it's definitely not something that you want to watch more than twice. Yeah. Alright. Now I'll bring to you the part where I uh, introduce you to two movies that I think uh, were awesome, made me laugh, think and make you laugh. Uh, they're old, you know, but uh, still relevant. Uh, first one, Mel Brooks' Spaceballs. If you haven't seen it, you're a loser. Uh, obviously, you've never had TBS before because this used to play repeatedly over and over again. But it's always better to buy the DVD because it's not going to get cut for every little scene that, you know, doesn't suit every public. Uh, one of the best Mel Brooks movies to ever be released. Mel Brooks is a comedy genius. Uh, it's got a great cast. It's got, you know, John Candy, uh, Bill Pullman, Rick Moranis. Pretty much, you know, it's awesome. It's got Joan Rivers before all the plastic, but in this one she's very metal, so you know, she plays the female, you know, robot, so it's all good. Uh, I give it a pretty much a 9 out of 10. Definitely something you should look into. Uh, Spaceballs. A second film. Mystery Men. Back when this was released, it had the hippest cast according to this DVD box. You know, Ben Stiller, Garofalo, Azaria, William H. Macy, Greg Kinnear, you know, even Pee Wee Herman. So you know this this has to be an awesome movie, right? Like, if Pee Wee Herman's in it. Uh, this was obviously after the sex scandal, you know, uh, when he wasn't allowed being in children's films. So this kind of sets the mood for what kind of film this is going to be. I mean, it's Ben Stiller, so it's still kind of family-oriented. But, you know, everybody can enjoy it. Uh, 
one of my personal favorites. When I first saw it, uh, I was like, wow, this is a great movie. Uh, you might not share the same opinion, uh, but obviously I will give it a good 9 out of 10 also. Finally, Art School's Confidentials. Uh, it's got two great things in here right off the bat. John Malkovich. This guy can't make a shitty movie. And even when it is shitty, hell, it's John Malkovich. He deserves your time. Uh, also, it's got that crazy weird guy from Grandma's Boy with the metal legs, you know. That is awesome. Uh, you gotta get this movie. Uh, if you don't get it, at least rent it. You know, it can't be... If it's not something you're gonna regret. Uh, I'm not gonna give it a perfect mark, but it definitely deserves at least a 7 out of 10. Uh, something you'll enjoy. It's, it's definitely a must-see. If you don't you know, like John Malkovich, then there's a problem with you, obviously, but then you won't like this movie either, because it, it's pretty much like any other John Malkovich movie. It's independent, it's uh, something that uh, will make you think, and uh, yeah, so get this movie. So, this is the segment. If you liked it, tune in again next time. I'll try to get you another five movies. Uh, it's not like I'm going to run out. I have a huge collection. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, yeah. Peace. Comb the desert. We found shit! <laughs>